If I was introducing myself, I'd say my name is Greg Schneider. I work as the Research Museum Collections Manager at the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology, or UMMZ. Here's an example of some uh, gopher snakes that were collected. One of the things that you were asking about, you know, coiling them up and preserving them. We've acquired a uh, large collection of reptiles and amphibians from Stephen J. Arnold, who uh, is recently retired from Oregon State University. All the information about it. So, this is a nice big snake place to put them so they'll set up. And so you coil them into the jar like that. We recently got around 40,000 specimens uh, from his collection and mostly uh, two kinds of snakes, garter snakes and water snakes and uh, a couple kinds of salamanders. And you can see you got to coil them up like this so they'll fit in the jar. Uh, litter numbers. So we know the parents because if I show you these field notebooks I think that the Steve Arnold snakes probably are another 30,000, so that should put us up around 65, 70,000 maybe. I can't know exactly uh, until I get them all cataloged and, and, and into our computer system. I'm fairly confident we'll have the largest snake collection in the world. I've checked with some of the other big collections. So the biggest collection of preserved amphibians and reptiles is the U.S. National Museum Smithsonian Institution. And they have uh, f around 55,000. We are not open to the public like an exhibit museum, but we are open for, uh, we're open for business for people who want to do research here. These are the kinds of uh, studies that um, tell us a lot, lot, lot more about what's happening in natural selection and, in, and the evolutionary process. Uh, that present these data, they specify the name of the collection. So the more stuff you have and the more associated materials that you have, the more things you can do. I think that since these specimens arrived, uh, people are very, very, very enthusiastic and supportive and uh, excited about the kinds of research that are going to be done with these collections.